Hello world, this is What's Up 290 and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to easily configure port forwarding on a Netgear Orbi router. This should be the same process for any Netgear router, however Orbi is, is the specific Netgear router I'm, I'm showing you. So what you're going to want to do is open up your browser and go to the IP address that is currently in my URL bar in Google Chrome. Any web browser should work. Then what you're going to want to do is just, it'll, then once you type that in and hit enter, it'll come up with a, asking for a, a username and password. It should be admin and ad, admin unless it's been changed. But you might want to look that up as I'm not 100% sure. So what you're going to want, so, so what you'll want to do is once you've gotten to the page, to the Netgear Orbi page, what you'll want to do is click on advanced and then click on port forwarding slash port triggering. And then what you'll, there should be a button that'll says add custom service or something like that. Click that button and you'll, and it'll come to this page that I'm currently on here. So what you want to do is, uh, first off, let's go to the packets. If the service you're using uses both TCP and UDP packets, you, chances are you should probably just use this one checked. However, if, leave this one checked. However, if the service you're configuring for only uses TCP or UDP packets, you can change the options there. Then in domain name, what you want to do is type in the name of the service that you're setting up port forwarding for. You can type whatever you want, but type the name of the service. It'll be easier to remember. Then down here, what you're going to want to type is type in the number of the port that you want to configure for port forwarding. You can open multiple ports by typing in one port number and then typing, putting a space, dash, and then another port number. Then that'll open those two port numbers for port forwarding as well as all of the port numbers in between those two port numbers. If you want to open just those two port numbers, what should work is typing one port number, comma, another port number, then that should open only those two. And check this box here if that box isn't checked. What you're going to want to do now is go down here and type in the internal IP address of the device you're currently port forwarding for. And, but what should also happen is I took, I cropped this out of the video because I didn't want to share all of the devices that are on my personal network on YouTube. But what should also happen is it should pop up with a list with the names of all of the devices that are currently connected to your network, as well as their IP addresses next to them. You can also just simply just, if the IP address that you're, um, that your port forwarding from is currently, or device that you're currently port forwarding from is currently connected to your network, then you should be able to just check that, check that device and IP address on your list. And then what you're going to want to do is click apply. And then that'll, congratulations, you're now configured, your port forward configuration is now complete. You can also come back here and edit it by selecting the service and then clicking edit. So that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is What's Up 290, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next video.